Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, I wanna answer a very common question that a lot of math teachers get. And it's a good question. And it's uh, basically, how is algebra used in real life? Now, there's some other kind of related questions to this. Uh, you know, somebody might be saying, well, is algebra important to learn? Is, al you know, is learning algebra just pointless? You know, do I really need to know algebra? I think these would be kind of related questions and they're good questions, right? As a math student, you want to kind of know or at least be motivated to be like, yeah, you know, this stuff is important or now it's just a waste of time and I'm just doing it to get to this uh, particular class. So this is going to be the topic, obviously, of this video. But uh, before we get going, okay, what do you think? How is algebra used in real life? And uh, try to think of examples beyond the obvious, like, well, if you're a math teacher or if you're an engineer, you, you certainly have to use algebra. But can you think of an, uh, a few examples where, yes, yeah, you may have to use some algebra in a real life situation. So put that into the comment section. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try to convince you that learning algebra is a good thing to survive or to you know make the most of uh, our quote unquote real life, whatever that means. But uh, we'll kind of get onto all of that in a second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if you enjoy this video, okay, and in some way maybe kind of convinces you to want to learn algebra better, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. And uh, because we're talking about algebra, I'm actually going to leave the direct links to my math courses to include my algebra course in the description as well. But uh, before we kind of get into this, I want to make a statement, okay, or a statement to kind of a question. And uh, this is kind of a related question, at least this is my thought on things. And that is the following, right? Do you need to know math, a lot of math, to be successful and happy in life? Okay, uh, let's kind of take on that question, right? If I'm, of course, I'm a math teacher, I love mathematics. Am I going to say, hey, you can't be successful or happy in life unless you know math? Is that, you know, am I going to make this, uh, you know, equation math equals success? Absolutely not, right? No, right? There is, I'm definitely not going to try to convince you that you must know a ton of advanced math to be happy and successful in life. You can uh, have a great, happy, successful life on all levels, financial, you know, et cetera, uh, without knowing a lot of math. There's a ton of examples out there, right? However, okay, uh, I am going to try to convince you that you're gonna be better off. The more math you know, uh, the better off uh, you're going to be. So it gives you advantages, right? And that's what we're gonna be talking about here. So yes, I'm going to try to convince you to continue your math education, but I don't want to, uh, you know, I need to be straight up with you and be like, listen, okay, I've been, uh, <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of different uh, uh, experiences, let me say, in my uh, life, and I've come across a lot of people, successful people that may, uh, that are maybe not as successful, and I can tell you right now, math in terms of you know, as an identifier, you know, to say, oh, that person's successful, therefore they must know a lot of math. That's not the case, okay? To be successful, all right, what do you need? Well, you need to be, you know, really good at learning, okay? You need to master a skill, okay, or skill or skills. You need to work hard, all right? Got to work hard. You need to have discipline. Uh, you need to have, you know, you got to be able to set goals, uh, you got to be persistent, all these kind of qualities. This is what you need to be successful, not only in, you know, a career field that has nothing to do with math, but in math itself. OK, so if you want to be successful in math, you got to have all these qualities. So qualities of success are kind of across the board, you know, and, you know, they, they apply to kind of everything. Right. But uh, I just want to kind of get that out of the way right now. Because I need to be honest with you, if you, you know, math isn't your thing, if you don't like math, that's perfectly okay, and you can still have a great life. But I want to encourage you to learn as much math as possible, at least some basic algebra. So let me go ahead and give you some thoughts on this question here, right? Which again is, you know, how is algebra used in real life? So in a real life situation, is it good to know some algebra? Well, yes, indeed, I believe it is, right? So let's take a look at uh, this first thing right here, and this is learning. Okay, where in real life 
where you may need, uh, where you uh, may have to use some algebra. Well, learning. Now, this applies to a lot of different scenarios. So obviously, if you're a student, a high school student or a college student, and you're taking math, yeah, you're learning and you need to know mathematics, which would include algebra. But beyond that, let's say you're out of school and you know you haven't been in high school for 25, 30 years, and then you decide, you know what, I'm going to go back and get my college degree, um, you know, or I'm going to, you know, I have to get this certification uh, to get to the next level in my career. Guess what? You're going to have to go back into a learning scenario, and if it includes college or even a technical school, chances are you're going to be facing math, and you know there's a very good chance you're going to be facing algebra. Okay, so anytime you are developing or working on improving your education, there's a good chance math's going to be involved to include algebra, and you want to in real life. Uh, continue your education okay oftentimes your education is linked to you know your uh, job opportunities and just you know your own personal development so again you know as a student as you learn uh, you know or in your kind of formal education or technical schools or learning on the job okay uh, you may very well be encountering you know some basic algebra that would basically include uh, like formulas or working with formulas it all depends again and you know what kind of career you're going into so let's kind of speak about the next thing here in real life and we're talking about jobs now a lot of you are saying well you know I don't plan to go to college I'm just gonna work a trade well I can tell you right now okay if you're like going into like uh, electrician to be an electrician for example you need to work with basic formulas right and this is not the case just with being an electrician uh, and if any electricians are out there listening or people who are, uh, are familiar with Ohm's law that's a basic formula okay and to solve Ohm's law there's a little kind of shortcut memory devices but effectively you're doing algebra okay and uh, you know, if you work with Microsoft Excel, for example, let's say, well, I'm just going to become like an administrative assistant or whatnot. Well, you're going to be working with spreadsheets or databases. And guess what those things have? Well, they have formulas. OK, and you're going to be quite confused on trying to decipher work with data and uh, do some kind of data analysis if you don't have some basic, basic algebra understanding. And you don't need to know everything in algebra. You don't need to know how to, you know, solve quadratic equations or systems of equations. We're talking about, I would say, primarily working with formulas, working with equations, understanding what functions are, this kind of basic thing. Even in the military, right? I spent a lot of years in the military, like, well, I'm just going to go in the military and, you know, do, uh, you know, work with, you know, guns and things like that. Guess what? Yes, indeed. Even like if you're going to shoot artillery pieces, you do need to understand some basic algebra. Okay. Not, you know, you can't, <laughs> it's not re absolutely required, but you're going to have to know some basic mathematics. Okay. And the more math you know to include algebra, the better off you're going to be. But anytime you're working with formulas, uh, let's say you're a carpenter and you got to figure out area or you got to figure out right angles, you know, hey, is this room, you know, is it, it's, is it square, is it da-da-da, you're going to be working with basic formulas quite frequently. Anytime you're working with formulas, you are working with algebra, okay? So, again, you know, when you're learning or learning on a job, or, uh, you know, using uh, whatever particular formulas you might be using in your job, not all jobs, but a good, a, a good many jobs, uh, you will be working with mathematics, no doubt. Okay, so let's move on to this next uh, concept here, and that is the news. Now, you might be saying, what am I talking about here? I don't need to know algebra to read the news. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, but kind of what I'm saying here is that the more math you know, all right, the better off you're going to be understanding the world around you. Because oftentimes, you know, the news has mathematical words in it, especially economic news. So let's talk about like inflation. Inflation is uh, this percentage, or they're talking about the housing market. The median um, home sales is this, or the average home sales. That they're using oftentimes um, uh, mathematical terms, and they actually specifically mean something. So if you want to have a better understanding of your world, okay? Knowing some of this basic math, and our basic algebra, is going to uh, kind of help you out, right? Again, we're not talking about advanced mathematics, but at least basic math 
uh, which would include uh, which would include basic algebra. All right. So again, to understand the world around you, current events and whatnot, math does uh, play a uh, role. And of course, that brings me to my last little point here. There's other points, but we're talking about real life. And one thing is for uh, sure, in real life, you're going to have to deal with money, right? So this is everyone's favorite topic. Uh, you know, maybe you are stressed about money. Maybe you enjoy making money. Whatever the case is, I'm pretty sure you are interested in money. Now, money is, you know, this is, a, you know, uh, we express money uh, numerically, right? So like, you know, $24.30. Those are numbers. You know, we do things with these numbers. We're trying to maybe invest, right? We need to kind of understand the concepts of compound interest or simple interest or uh, percentage. You know, we're talking about sales, you know, trying to looking at discounts. Um, all these are mathematical concepts. Again, oftentimes invo involve formulas. Now, do you need to know all these formulas and what uh, to be successful? You'd be like, no, nah, I'm just going to take my money and just put it into the stock market. I don't need to know algebra to do that. Yes, you would be right. But the more math you know, the more advantageous you're going to be to understanding, you know, what's going on, understanding the world, understanding the news, making better decisions. OK, and really. Uh, I think this is the, the main advantage of learning algebra and in mathematics and in real life is you're going to be, you know, better um, equipped, if you will, to take in a lot of information, analyze it and make better decisions. OK, so do you absolutely need to use um, algebra in every aspect of real life? Absolutely not. OK, you could do something and, you know, I'm, per, I'm pretty sure if you really wanted to escape algebra your entire life, you probably couldn't get away with it. You know, maybe, maybe not, but uh, you probably could. And you probably could have a great life without any algebra. Right. There's plenty of examples. But the more algebra, you know, the better off you're going to be able to handle, um, you know, various opportunities, understanding the, the quote unquote real world better. At least that's my two cents on the matter. And, um, you know, I want to, again, ask you, what do you think, right? Are you convinced maybe some of you out there are, you know, 60, 70, 80 years old and you didn't know any algebra? You're like, yeah, I, you know, I didn't know algebra. I didn't, and I had a great life and successful life. But, you know, before you um, comment, right, and say, I didn't need algebra, make sure your memory is accurate. OK, because you might just kind of discover like, oh, wait a minute, hold on here. Uh, before I got into my career path, I had to take this certification exam that did have math on it. But yes, I didn't have to use any math in my career. But to get that opportunity, in fact, I did have to you know, pass a math exam. OK, so just be accurate when it comes to your memory. But anyways, hopefully this little video encouraged you to want to continue to learn algebra. I'll tell you right now, all of you out there can be successful with mathematics. So if you're kind of, you know, um, you know, looking to not encounter al algebra or not use it because you don't like it because you were, you're afraid of it, or if you're not confident with math, we well, got to fix that situation. Okay. You definitely can learn mathematics. So if that's the reason why you're not interested in algebra, because you're not confident in your math skills, that can be worked on. Okay. If you just, you know, not interested in math, that's okay as well. But either way, I'm going to encourage you to learn some algebra and that is enough of that. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.